dipole moment. The extent of polarity of a molecule can be expressed in terms of a parameter known as dipole moment. The extent of polarity of a molecule can be expressed in terms of a parameter known as dipole moment. Okay. Dipole moment can be defined as the product of the magnitude of the charge and the distance between the charges. Okay. So, dipole moment is defined as the product of the magnitude of the charge. denoted by Q, okay, and the distance of separation between the charges. So, dipole moment is denoted by mu, which is equal to charge Q into distance of separation which is denoted by R. So, Q into R. Okay. And the di dipole moment is expressed in D by units. Expressed in D by units and denoted by D. Okay, denoted by D. So, 1D is equal to 1 into 10 raised to minus 18 ESU centimeter. ESU, electrostatic unit. Electrostatic unit is the unit of charge and centimeter, this unit of distance of separation distance okay also 1d can also be expressed as coulomb meter so 1d is equal to 3.33564 into 10 raised to minus 30 coulomb meter okay this is coulomb coulomb meter 3.33564 into 10 raised to minus 30 coulomb meter okay example Dipole moment of HCl is 1.03 D. So, we can convert it into ESU centimeter and also into Coulomb meter. So, mu of HCl is equal to 1.03 into 10 raised to minus 18 ESU centimeter. Or, we can multiply 1.03 into 3.33564 into 10 raised to minus 30 coulomb meter. Okay. Next dipole moment is a vector quantity. Is a vector quantity means that is it has both magnitude and direction okay magnitude and direction example hf so we know f is more electronegative okay so this can be represented like this this indicates that electron pair shifts to, towards the fluorine atom because fluorine is more electronegative so it indicates the direction of sh uh, shift okay direction of shift the, this can be uh, this arrow represents the direction of shift 
okay electron pair shifts towards the more electron negative fluorine end. then now in the case of a diatomic molecule it contains only one single bond okay so dipole moment of the bond will be the dipole moment of the molecule okay now in the case of polyatomic molecules example water it contains more than one bond more than one covalent bond okay so in such cases the dipole moment will not depend not only depends upon the individual dipole moment of bonds but it depends upon the spatial arrangement of but the dipole moment depends upon the spatial arrangement of bonds in the molecule okay spatial arrangement of bonds in the molecule okay so next class we will discuss uh, the dipole moments of certain exam uh, certain compounds uh, and their dipole moment can be calculated okay